Welcome to the Papa Do Podcast. Papa Do! What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Papa Do Podcast. Today we have the very small man, Vin J, and then the very tall, skinny man, Lucky Boy Nato, and then Adam. the averagely heighted, very wide man, Crypt. And we're so happy you guys are here with us today. And we're just going to see how the fuck this goes. All of us are very stupid and don't know how to work podcasts at all. Yeah. None of us have used Discord in years, so this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. I'm glad we got Vin Jay up here. Vin Jay. Yes, sir. He's a dope artist. Absolutely. And, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know really what to say. I want Vin Jay to talk, though. So, Vin Jay, why don't you just say words? Check, check. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to oh, the okay. Papa Brew podcast. Now that I'm uh, okay, okay. Is that good? We got some ASMR action? No, that's, don't ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Redo exactly what you just did. I want more energy. More energy? Yeah, I need some I need some mumble rapper energy on this. All right. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to harness my inner crypt. Hold on. All right, get your fast rapping <laughs> intro out. Hold on, no, hold What's on. What's going on everybody? Boys Vin J. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> What's going on guys? It's your boy Crypt back with another one for you. It's me, it's Joey Nato, and we're out here. We're going to pop a do. Bah! Oh, I'm going to pop a do. All right, everybody be quiet. Huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's how it goes. There was the pop a do. Mm. We're we're popping dudes over here. Man. Popping dudes okay, and popping brews, to... baby. Popping dudes and popping do- brews and Joe Nato, did you pop anything? Yeah, I got a. Hold on, hold on. Oh, do you have uh, a Mountain Dew please. today? No, listen. Did you hear that? I no. heard your phone. That, no, that was. <laughs> that happened <laughs> simultaneously, <laughs> but I popped open the top of my uh, coffee. Like the lid where okay. you pop it open. Like okay, that, that, you know, I you guess gotta, that gotta works. You got to deal with what you got. Listen, yeah, I mean, <laughs> maybe one day we'll all be on the same page. It'll take a couple yeah, of weeks to get Joey some Mountain Dew, I guess. But uh, <laughs> Vin J, my man, yes, uh, sir. I want you to talk about the first time uh, you met me and Joey. Because we've all hung out a couple times. I don't think people really know oh. that. We've, we've hung out a time or two. What was your first thoughts when meeting me specifically and your first thoughts when meeting Joey? Because I know oh, I had some... Me. Oh, yeah. I mean, I did, too. So I'm trying to think back to the first time I met both of you. Crit, first um, time I met you was in New York, right? Yeah, I met you and Joey. Like, I met you the day before I met Joey, or the day after. It was one of the two. Yeah, it's when you came, okay, so when you came out to New York to shoot a bunch of different videos. Okay, I remember right. now. Yeah, so first yeah. time I met you, man, it was it was super weird for me because, you know, it was right after Mumble Rapper blew up. Shit was really uh, picking up for me, and I never really collab with anyone, especially people bigger than myself. So mm-hmm. working with you at the time, before I knew you were an asshole, was like really exciting for me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I appreciate that. <laughs> so no, yeah, it was it was definitely a dope experience, and I was excited about it. The song we made was fucking crazy. It was shocking to me how good it came out because we recorded it, you know, two different states, and that's also something I've never done is recorded. Um, in two different studios, two different times, because I was so new to the scene per se in terms of features, you know. That's that's all we do now. That's literally every collab ever. Facts. As you record it in different things and then send stems over, and it's a big fucking nightmare. Joey and I did a whole album like that, and we hated each other for a long time after that. Still hate each other, but uh, yeah, the first time I met Vin J, man, uh, it was in New York. I met Joey, like I said, either the day before or the day after. Vin J's way cooler than Joey is, but. Uh, Vin and Jake. I can attest to that. I met Joey. Uh, Vin and um, his his cameraman Jake, who's really fucking dope, does all your videos. He's done a couple of videos for me. I uh, did uh, another song that we did, Devil Went Down to Hip Hop. But you guys took me to this crazy fucking burger place. And I got like french fries and bacon and just some crazy shit on my burger. And that's what I remember more than anything from that trip. That and the fact that you smoked your vape from a fucking abandoned <laughs> insane asylum floor. You nasty, Funniest nasty yeah. herpes having motherfucker. I've been ripping it since we started this podcast. I bet you have. Different vape, thankfully. Fun <laughs> fact about Crypt. Um, even though he talks about how big he is all the time, dude eats slow as fucking shit. Fucking waiting for this kid <laughs> to finish his meal for 20 minutes. Everyone else has been done. Yeah. Wow. I actually don't even eat that much, dude. I really don't. I just, like, I retain all of my food and I eat very shitty. So, like, it just... You know, I, I played baseball my whole life, so I was always athletic, and I guess my metabolism was extremely high whenever I was working out and running all the time. But 
Uh, ever since I graduated college and quit playing baseball, I haven't done jack shit with my life. I ate 15 Reese's last night. Yeah, bro. I was on wow. Call of Duty. I ate 15 Reese's fucking cups last night. Hated myself. Oh, it was the worst. That sounds amazing. Listen, it was so good. And then after 10, I was like questioning if I should keep going. I was like, I made it this far. Like, what's the difference between 10 Reese's and 15 Reese's? They're both <laughs> terrible. So, so I just went in and then I wanted to die. I can guarantee you one thing. People going into this podcast are not going to believe that you would eat 15 Reese's and I wouldn't. I'll like, tell you it's, what. It's not going to happen. It's When it's 2 a.m. and you're a grown man playing Call of Duty with your friends and there's 15 Reese's rappers next to you, you kind of question why you're on this earth anymore. <laughs> and that's really where I was at. Oh, shit. Uh, so, yeah, Crip, Crip, let's talk about Crip's eating. This is a cool topic because Crip oh, great. scared me. That's incredible. You scared me when you what came here. I was, like, nervous for your life. Like, Why? he comes to Connecticut to record his album, and uh, everything he wants to eat is just extremely unhealthy. I'm downstairs making <laughs> asparagus omelets and stuff like that, and he, like, almost throws up by the thought yeah. in me saying asparagus omelet. He says, that sounds like the worst possible thing <laughs> I've ever he heard did. of. He was explaining to me what was in it. It was, like, eggs, which is the only thing that was sounded edible at all in this omelet. He was, like, asparagus <laughs> And onion dices and tomatoes yeah. and just like fucking fairy dust because it's stupid. Like the whole and then thing. He said, let's go, let's go somewhere to get breakfast. Or well, I get I got a coffee every morning after uh, I got him from the hotel that he was staying at, which was a terrible hotel. It was apparently very, but uh, it was haunted. Yeah. Then we uh, we went to Dunkin' Donuts and this man got three glazed donuts. Came home put them in the microwave and ate them with a fork. I was like, what is life right that, now? Honestly, and, listen, after eating those Reese's, I needed that story. I feel so much better about myself. Listen, don't nod it until you try it, man. The second you warm up a donut in the microwave, you will never want to eat a donut in another way. Why it on earth so are yeah, you eating it with a fork? Three. Because I didn't want to <laughs> get my fucking <laughs> fingers sticky. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't want sticky fingers no, right in just, my album. Oh my God. I'm sure it tastes great. I, I'm sure it tastes fantastic, but what the hell? I like, just have then, a picture of later, you eating three hot donuts with a fork, and it's freaking me the fuck out. Like, I've go never fuck seen yourself. anything I like don't regret that. it at all. <laughs> go fuck yourself. It's probably one of the best decisions I made while I was there. <laughs> and we did it every morning, because Joey has this obsession with Duncan. And we went there every single day before we recorded the album. He would pick me up from the hotel at like 11 or noon, because we both slept in. We would go to Dunkin', and get donuts, and then record, and then I would order Chinese food from across the road and yeah. have deliver to the house. And Joey, Joey would fix his would. fucking stupid-ass omelets. What was that joint we went to in Connecticut when everything Crypt got was the worst thing on the planet? <laughs> Dude, that uh, was such a know. horrible night. Okay, I hated I was it downtown. so much. Flat Coke, it was fucking, dude, hated you, dude. Dude, that we Coke tasted like they gave me a bag of syrup and sipped it through a straw. We was, were in downtown New Haven. Oh, dude. Sorry. Yeah I, I, yeah. I just don't know the name of the place, so I can't put them on blast. But we were in Facts. downtown New Haven, like right near Yale University. And, um, you know, I take a lot of pride in the city and stuff. But, you know, that was not a good representation. And then who uh, didn't no. get so their I, drink for 45 fucking minutes? It was me. That was your t- <laughs> Yes. Who didn't get their they drink? They gave me. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> Crip. He <laughs> no, like, for he gave so me, long. <laughs> dude, he gave me the Coke. Which obviously it had no bubbles in it. it. Tasted like I was drinking syrup, and then I was like, "Hey man, can I just get like a lemonade? Because I it's impossible to fuck up lemonade. Like you have to really fuck it up to fuck up lemonade." Nice. And like, <laughs> he gave me the steak. The steak was beyond raw. Like I asked for medium rare, and this thing was still mooing. And then I he came over. He's like, "How's the steak, fellas?" I was like, "Dude, I can you just like cook this more?" <laughs> like he took and the dude, steak it took back. him twenty five minutes after that, and it still came back raw. Yeah, it came back. It was still very, very undercooked. And all this time, I'm still waiting on this lemonade. And like he keeps walking by. And I remind him, he's like, hey, man, can I have that lemonade? He's like, oh, I forgot. And then, like, I don't hear from him again for 15 more minutes. Brings out the steak. And then, like, he notices I don't have anything to drink with my raw-ass steak. And then he finally brings me a lemonade that had vodka in it. That was uh, a rough time. Yeah, the server was kind of laughing, too, sort of. Like, he was kind of, like, joking about it, like, a little bit. Like, he wasn't, like, really I'll tell you serious. what, like, my burger was I'm incredible. so sorry, sir. It was one of my best eating experiences that I've had personally. That's great. And we appreciate you because you actually paid for that meal. You did pay for that. that. I did. But we did bring the steak back, and I think Joey and his fiance ate it. Respect. So it, did, it didn't did go to happen? waste. How do you typically yeah, think, eat your steaks, I think Chris? she did eat it. Medium rare or medium. Like, it was... 
so but it was also like dry aged. Rare guy? I'll eat it medium rare. Yeah, I mean, I, I it's it's I won't eat it rare. Yeah, it gets a little. But gnarly that thing when was it's fucking purple. Yeah, especially when it's dry aged. Like dry aged, I like it cooked a little bit more because there's such a particular taste to it, and it's. Oh man, I remember I went to an, another steak place in New York with my brother, and we both got a dry aged prime rib and medium rare, and that motherfucker was purple. And it made us sick for two weeks, dude. It was awful. Oh and so, like, God. I just, I have this horrible, horrible experience with dry aged meat. So, it just made it even worse. That whole experience sucked. I was really looking forward to it because steak is my favorite thing on this planet. And it just got yeah, stripped good away from Yeah, good pick steak me. is pretty amazing. Yeah, but dude, dry aged medium rare steak is good. I guess it's fucking where you go, man. Because <clears throat> best steak I ever had was, it's, uh, what the fuck do they call it? It's like Pittsburgh style. It's dry aged for 30 days. And then uh, some coating on it, whatever you want to call it, and medium rare, and it fucking changed my life, dude. But I guess wherever you went, wow. you had two bad experiences in a row, so it fucked you up. Yeah, I went to a, it was like a speakeasy almost. Like, there was only 13 people in this restaurant is all I could hold. It was extremely dark, only candle lit, you could barely see shit, and uh, horrible. It was it was very expensive, too. It was like $150 for this prime rib. And mm. I, Have you guys I ever been to Prime Steakhouse? No, I don't think so. Well, it might be a New York thing, but people rave about it, bro. It's like the place to go for a fancy dinner and hella expensive steaks, but it's worth it. Bro, I've been there. It's fucking not all that. I, the uh, other that steak sucks. I was telling you about was so fire, changed my life. I go there expecting the same shit, and I was like, I'm spoiled from that last steak because this ain't even that good. It does suck when you eat some really good food, and it gets, like, it ruins you. Because Ruth's yeah. Chris is my favorite steakhouse ever, and I've never had another steak even comparable to that. Oh. Yeah, facts. <clears throat> Joey, do you even some good eat steak meat? places? Yeah, so I was oh, uh, I was kind of you know sitting in the background just listening and <laughs> waiting for my chance to jump <laughs> in. But uh, there's a place I think that was called Bistro or something like that in New York City that was like a five star, yeah, four and a half star super familiar. restaurant. Yeah, we um we walked from Times Square to get there, so I don't think it's far from Times Square, but it was a uh, Pretty damn, pretty damn good. I had a filet mignon, and it had some kind of, like, demi-glaze or something like that to, to dip it in, and it was fantastic. That was the best steak by far I've ever had in my life. That's, yo, this God, quarantine, oh, that's what's one of the hardest things for my fat ass is not being able to go eat really good food. Bro, I've been living on fucking ham and cheese sandwiches for, I couldn't even tell you, it's embarrassing. Do you not yeah. know how to cook? I do know how to cook. I'm lazy, and I don't want to clean pans and fucking... <laughs> dishes and shit fucking make wow. a ham and cheese wrap <laughs> fucking put it in the microwave eat it with a fork and i'm fucking good to go bro <laughs> <laughs> eat it with a fork do you really eat it with a fork the ham and cheese sam no but i'm about is that to. just a subliminal <laughs> shot at me because you're an asshole <laughs> exactly what a dickhead know, if he ever makes a diss track if he ever makes a diss track i'll crip it's gonna be called the fork because <laughs> <The fork. laughs> i eat donuts with a fork <laughs> jesus christ i need new friends <laughs> I'm pretty sure Vin Jay hated me before he met me. Like <laughs> the day he was that? gonna meet me. That's because like well first of all, I don't like when people come over and they bring um guests that I weren't expecting. Oh yeah, I remember this. And you had your uh your girlfriend with she's still your girlfriend. Your guys aren't engaged, right? No, she's still my girlfriend. I don't know. Okay. Relax yeah. on that. I think it's disrespectful <laughs> to say girlfriend if you're like engaged or something. I'm gonna have to make her not watch this podcast now. She's gonna look at me sideways <laughs> yeah. and be like I'm pretty sure I bad. called you one day and mentioned that and like asked if you guys were engaged and she heard me and you got bitched yep. out for the rest of the night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that's the realities right there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah, I was like, yo, I don't I don't I didn't really want anybody else coming over that I didn't know or wasn't familiar with or something. And you were like, yo, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know one other person would like make a difference. I don't think you meant it in a snarky nah, way. Yeah, I wasn't it just, being crazy. But I was just like, what the fuck? So like, you know, I didn't know because I didn't really know you. Like we've talked before and stuff, but yeah. So I was like, all right, this guy's going to come here and <clears throat> hate me. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Not even. I, I told me and my girl were talking about it on the way there. Cause I, same way as you didn't even expect me to do that. I didn't even expect it to be a slight problem. You know what I'm saying? So we were just on gotcha. opposite sides yeah. of the spectrum. So I was like, yeah. I just hope everything's straight when we get there. I'm not trying to fucking, um, be a, you know, a burden on this dude. Yeah. Nah, it was all good. It all worked out. Yeah, it was like out, a pretty last cool minute thing hell. too. Yeah. It was. You always mentioned that, like, when you'd come back to Connecticut or New York, Crip, that uh, we would all link up. So I was hoping it would happen, but um, 
Yeah, I definitely wanted yeah. to make that connection there because you two are like some of my closest friends, and I'm obviously I feel like you guys could work together. But like, I mean, when I'm up north, I always like to visit Vinjay and you, just because it feels like a waste if I don't see you guys while I'm up there. I feel that. I can't wait to travel again, man. Yeah, it's same, man. It sucks being stuck here without anything to do. Yeah, and it's like it's. But speaking of uh, traveling, let's talk about how the vape traveled from the dirty ass insane asylum floor to your mouth. Listen. Yes, Ben Jay. Let's talk about that. All right, <laughs> let's talk about it. Okay, so <clears throat> there's something called nicotine addiction, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, mm. and it's a serious topic. Okay, and we're gonna dive into it real quick. So ever since Delicious I came, dark. I came out of uh, my mom's womb, right, as I was being brought into this earth, and the doctor saw me, and instead of saying we see a head, they said we see a vape. And from that moment on, my mom knew there was going to be an issue. She started trying to give me pacifiers. I bought vapes. Didn't need ID. They knew the fucking biz when I got into 7-Eleven. They saw me, and they saw the look in my eyes. I needed the nicotine. So I copped it. Ever since then, I've been picking fucking dirty vapes off abandoned insane asylums. And that's how the fucking tale goes. So this I had known this man for 30 minutes when this happened. So he immediately is like, "Wow, this guy's a fucking psycho." No, you want to talk? This guy is let's, out of my mind. Let's talk <laughs> about let's talk about knowing each other for thirty minutes and shit that went down in the insane insane asylum. So we had costume changes for the video. Obviously, I'm in a straight jacket, Crips in a uh, uh, pr- prisoner <laughs> oh, suit. Oh, forgot about that. I I meet this man <laughs> for two seconds. First of all. First of all, oh my god, there's actually a lot more to the story than I'm realizing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, everything's coming back to me, man. Yeah, okay, so, two things. So, this, Crip is talking to me about uh, knowing him for 30 minutes and picking the vape up off the floor. <laughs> this man <laughs> takes his costume out, gives me a costume, takes his pants off and fucking puts him that costume on right out the gates. Like, we fucking <laughs> know each other off the bat. I'm like, alright. Incredible. <laughs> Love the confidence. That's incredible. You show your penis to your friends early, <laughs> that way they know. Oh my god, so you can get the embarrassment out of the way early, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, okay, so, anyway, this reminded me of exactly what Crip is thinking about right now. So, Crypt orders me a straight jacket off Amazon or a website or whatever the fuck. He... He texts me when he gets this shit, and he's like, uh, so I open the straight jacket, and I'm like, all right, and he goes, uh, I think it's a sex jacket, and I'm like, what the fuck do you mean it's a sex jacket? I was like, it looked like a straight jacket. He's like, he's like, yeah, but like the sleeves look like... What the fuck was it, bro? There's like straps all the fuck. <laughs> there were, there's I, like straps and belts and whip. It came with the whip. It came yeah. with the bull whip. I had to <laughs> so cut. I had to cut straps off this thing and turn it into a straight jacket because that shit was some weirdo dominatrix fucking. Oh my shit. god. Yo, Dude, how did that like happen? A, it came with, like, a little snap-on at the bottom that, like, caressed his balls, too. And we had to, like, do some weird thing to make it go around his waist instead. Dude, it was such... Oh, my God. I forgot all about that. I straight up... I ordered two of them, but they were so fucking small that I couldn't fit in one of them. And then yeah, I, like, opened really it up. Tight. Yeah, dude. I opened it up. I was like, oh, my God. This is a fucking sex jacket. <laughs> How about when I we, never we, start, we almost same. started a fire in the fucking woods later that day, the uh, second part of the video. You caught me on fire. Yeah, that was incredible. I'm glad we have that on video. Dude. Yeah, dude. There's a video out there. I don't know if I can find it and maybe flash it on the screen for those listening on I Spotify. I just saw it I'm sorry, you the can't other day. It. Yeah, Jake. <laughs> I, I, I could have Jake send it through. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude. Like, gotcha. Ben Jay threw a trash bag in a big uh, garbage pail of fire. And it got up on my chest, and I just like That's casually it wiped it off. It was pretty badass. Not gonna yeah, lie. Well, he didn't even flinch. He looked down, saw he was on fire, and he was like typical, and wiped it. <laughs> I I guess if it's just your shirt, then I guess you won't feel it. But still, that you like, can't you can't yeah. downplay the man being on fire super casually. Yeah, yeah no, I that was pretty. That's badass. <laughs> I didn't even freak out. I was just like, oh, I'm on fire. <laughs> just wiped it off. <laughs> I'm used to being on fire. All right. <clears throat> Uh, Vin J, there's something I need to know. We talked about this last time we were in New York at Crips show with Mac Lethal. Um, this might put me on blast. I don't know, but are you still using that amazing, incredible instrumental I made for you for the album? For the album, no, but I'm definitely using it because. Ah! Oh, the disrespect! Oh. This? Who made this beat? Not Nada. Not Nada. 
<laughs> That's about to be my intro to every song on the fucking album. <laughs> Why? All right, let, I'll hear you out. What's the, what? What? What is the consensus here? It's it's you know I fuck with the beat heavy. Yeah. It's it's a matter of um how many beats were thrown my way and what um vibes the album needed to get the versatility that I wanted it to. You guys know more than anybody that um, the majority of my tracks are spitting tracks, quote unquote. So, and that's exactly what your beat is. I could just go the fuck off. Um, but I also had to put some, some, um, let's say deeper songs, some uh, more melodic songs, some fucking <clears throat> not as anthemy banger drops on it, which is exactly what that song is. It's a fucking slapper. But, mm -hmm. The, I enjoy making those songs so much that that's what I lean towards. So, um, you know, when Epidemics is sending me packs, I automatically gravitate towards that shit. And yeah. then once I got He's fucking got sound, six yeah. of those, I'm like, okay, now let's make this kind of track. Let's make this kind of track. I want this artist on it because I know the vibe they have. You know, like I got uh, the homie Cryptic Wisdom on the album on a song that's super melodic for me and definitely in a, a dark vibe, dark place kind of feel. And that's his whole niche. So I kind of... It was so easy for me to make bangers that just hit hard that once that shit was finished, that was the easiest part of the album. And then after that, it was kind of like piecing the rest together via other fucking, uh, you know, avenues and styles, you know? That's, uh, yeah, no, nah, that makes a lot of sense. How many tracks do you have on the album? <clears throat> so I figured there was two ways we can go about this album. It could be all unreleased shit, you know? Uh -huh. um, yeah. And then something that uh, Chris Webby does, who I'm a big fan of, is he'll drop a song a week, you know, and then drop an yeah. album. And the album is the the songs he was dropping for the past fucking uh, two and a half months. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's something everybody's heard already, but it's still dope. And then it kind of consolidates the music he's put out. So it's not just singles, you know. So uh, on a mainstream level, that's. That's kind of what Joyner Lucas did, and a lot of people were kind of pissed off about it. I I'm curious about what you and Crips' looks are uh, uh, in terms of like putting out an album with a whole bunch of already released material on it. So this is like, the way this is the way I looked at it, and this is why I'm doing my album the way I am. So I want my music that I've been dropping over the past 12 months to be consolidated somewhat, so it's not all singles, and I can kind of have. Um, the new fans that come from this album have a uh, collective, you know, uh, spot to listen to all my songs that I I fuck with the most. But on the other hand, I value my current fans <clears throat> value my current fans too much to drop a tape that is all been released already. So the way I'm going about it to get kind of the best of both worlds <clears throat> is like 60, 40, 60 unreleased, 40 released. So now the new fans get to hear some of my best shit that's already been released, and the new fans get a shit ton of unreleased music. So I kind of make everyone happy, that's let smart. the album perform the way I believe it should, and, uh, you know, all that good stuff. I think it's a nice, yeah. happy yeah. medium between the two. Because, like, <clears throat> I know I'm more of a fan of conceptual albums and, like, a ton of unreleased things to where I can sit and have, like, a listening party with myself and digest an entire album. I'm not a huge Absolutely. fan. Like, I don't like... I love Chris Webby. I love his music. I hate the way that he makes his albums, like, where it's all stuff that I've already heard, and then he puts it together. But it it makes sense stream-wise. You get a lot more streams that way. The songs get their own shine. Like, it makes more sense stream-wise. But, like, as a fan of, you know, classic albums and classic album outlays, I, I'm not... I don't know. Yeah. I, I like the old way. I agree. Yeah. I think it's it's a balance, man. It's... It, it all depends on what your end goal is, you know? Yeah. Are you and, are you uh, targeting Chris new Webby's. fans or trying to make your current fans happy as well? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think you have the right mindset because, you know, sometimes it's easy to get caught up in, like, I have, you know, a decent-sized fan base. You know, they're all going to, like, I want to make sure I'm giving them all these new songs. But your oldest songs are going to be new to somebody exactly. when that album comes out. So Yeah. I think that's the right mindset because that's the goal with the album is to expand outside yeah, of your fan base. Yeah, to perform like, well. Make them happy, but yeah, get the word out more. Uh, Chris Webby's stuff was not always like that, though. Like, Agreed. Uh, his uh, mixtapes and, well, they were mixtapes. His mixtapes didn't have a, 
uh, mostly released stuff already. It has to definitely be an algorithmic thing. I recently went to a sit down with Chris Webby in Connecticut where he like talked to a room with like 40 different people in there or something like that um, about strategies and stuff like that. And uh, most of the time he was talking about like Spotify and how to get kicked into the algorithm or yeah. what he knew about it and all stuff like that. So that is heavily heavily on his mind right now yeah i mean um, yeah i definitely think that's part of it because he's been fucking killing it yeah. in the last six months to a year on spotify just absolutely in, insanely blown up on spotify he he had like a second come up dude you guys know i mean i don't know how yeah. long you've known Nato. i'm sure you've known webby forever because you're from connecticut um yeah. but he he popped off when mac miller popped off so i was in fucking i don't know early yep. high school ninth grade eighth grade whatever the fuck whenever mac popped off and and he was up there with him, and then Mac surpassed him, and and then he kind of, you know, uh, he went on a downward slope in terms of who, how big his music was getting. And then, like you said, mm-hmm. a year ago, bro, his shit just popped the fuck off. And he's like super, um, you know, he's like his own manager, he's independent, no uh, machine behind him. So that shit's inspiring to people like us, because it's not like, oh yeah, he was having trouble, then he signed, and now he popped off. Dude, fucking after... God knows how long, almost like, you know, five to eight years, whatever you want to call it, um, popped off again just through work ethic and understanding the business, you know? Yeah, uh, he does have a big team behind him um, or that he works with. He is like he is like pretty much calling the shots most of the time. But, you know, he has like a touring manager and he does have a I don't know if he has a per se. Maybe he has a business manager Mm -hmm. that was there with him. But he has like nine people on salary. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm going to have to get up real quick. Damn, how big is the broom? If you guys, if you guys, dude, funniest part is I traveled fucking two feet, but it's fun. It's fucking, I had to readjust my room for this podcast. So I'm like going over barriers and hurdles to get to fucking my camera. I get that. I definitely get that. Said, Damn, how big is the room? Oh, man. That's hilarious. Yo, do I have the biggest room out of all you got? Cause I have a really small room and I know Crypt is doing this out of his closet. Yeah. Vinjay, how big is your room that you're recording? I'd say it's it's equal to yours, maybe a little bit bigger. Okay. Wow. So just like painting. I like made myself I was thinking that too. (laughs) I put myself in a corner here, bro. Like if you saw my setup, the camera can't see it, but it's fucking it's weird. It's real weird. I'm like behind my dresser. Beer bottles are behind my dresser. Fifteen Reese's Reese's wrappers are behind (laughs) my dresser. It's just it's it's a bad scene. Hey, do me a favor the next time you eat them, eat them with a fork. Yeah. And, microwave the microwave and microwave them. And microwave them. And I gotta make it a triple stack. Dude, it actually sounds pretty fire. I'm curious if you guys heard of Annoyed really quick before we go Yo, on to the next topic. Yo, he's fucking dope, was it? dude. All right. I, I I found him through Chris Webby, and I and uh, I want to link with him. Like, he's he's okay. So I have a question for you guys, real quick. What do you guys deem as like? If an artist is bigger than you, smaller than you, it's a weird thing to gauge, right? Because, like, they have had uh, broader opportunities. Let's say, like, uh, Annoyed, let's say. good, yeah. Very good example. He's on hella shit with Webby. Yeah. And Webby's obviously a, a very big artist. He signed to Webby, um, man, so, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. What is uh, ADHD? Recently. Recently, yep. First artist wow. signed, so. Wow, that's dope. Um, because it's like, have you guys ever hit up an artist? And I have never hit up Annoyed. I um, I just know his music and he's fucking fire. But have you? I've hit up artists before who have a much smaller following, and then they, they how how <clears throat> how can I word this? Charging. They have money. a much smaller following, and then it's like they're just like shifty about it. Like like it's it's the opportunities for me, but like I'm the one who just fucks with your music because I think you're very talented. And then you're going to be, like, weird about it and try to, like, find, like, slick avenues to fucking, I don't know, uh, prosper. You know what I'm saying? Can you provide as many details as you can? I think what he's saying is nope. he's, hit up, uh, uh, he's hit up an artist that he fucked with his music who has a smaller following than him. And that artist was like, yeah, I'll do it for $1,000 or some shit like that. Is that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's. Yeah. Is it more or less? That's what it is. And it's just, it's, it's bizarre to me because then I'm immediately uninterested. And it's like, I just liked your sound. I don't like it that much, dude. So, like, I think ego gets in the way of 
of uh, a lot of people t- uh, leveling up. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I don't think it's ego based off my experiences. I think it's actually what your whatever statistics you're basing. Oh, they have a smaller following than me off of isn't either accurate or maybe they're making more money off this than you may think. And I think mm-hmm. it I think it really boils down to management mm-hmm. more than anything. I think it's usually the management's call on whether they want to go through with the uh, feature, whether it's a good fit for the different styles. You know what I mean? Like uh, working together. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean... And it's weird that Annoyed brought this topic up, but because I've, I, you know, I've never hit the dude up. I just, okay. um, I, I looked him up, and the reason it came to mind is because I uh, looked at his numbers, and I thought he was going to be so much bigger based off of his talent. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's like the best. <laughs> like at, yeah, at least out of he's Connecticut. He's fucking filthy, dude. He's so best, I, I saw yeah. his numbers. I haven't hit him up yet, but I saw his numbers, and I was like, shocked at, um, you know, that he didn't have more exposure. The dude is nice with it. But then that, when I thought of that, that brought up other fucking artists in my head that shall not be named that I've hit up, and it's just, like, weird. I mean, I can edit this out, but I'm, like, curious who you're talking about. I'll tell you off the record. There you go. You're smart, Vijay. You're smart. (laughs) Because an edit might slip. Because Crip can't edit for shit. Yes, I can, you But Crip can't edit. I gotta edit this out. He was was doing a sponsorship, and he had a random thing come up in the corner. That was so funny. Booyah! Or whatever it was. Bah! That's (laughs) weak. Oh, is that the... I know exactly. I saw that. Was that yeah. the MGK? Yeah, it was on my Insta. Dude, I was so... It was so funny. I think it was because I was really yeah, tired. Was but, like, it, it, it caught me so <laughs> off guard. I'm just, like, editing a sponsorship. And then I just see... Bah! <laughs> MGK in the corner. <laughs> Did, have you heard Annoyed, Crip? Have you heard I have Annoyed? Not. I have not. I don't know who you guys are talking about. You should look He's him up. He's really dope. Yeah, I'll, I'll look him up after. Yeah. It, he was somebody that I was going to recommend for the YouTube cipher, but... Mm-hmm a little late now but yeah i would say like yeah. he would uh he would have been the going, best by though. the way uh, if you watch the last man. podcast you would know you dick listen i'm just here strictly for exposure reasons i'm not a fan <laughs> of either of you i'm so. just here to promote my new album that's coming out whenever the fuck i get it done i respect exactly. it <laughs> <laughs> i bought you both a steak okay let me do this exactly. i can do what the fuck i, I want I, I, I am owed this okay <laughs> I didn't, didn't get a steak, though. Brew I think podcast. I got crap You're just being super disrespectful. Like, what the hell? <laughs> it's great. It's This is what oh, I wanted. This is this is awesome. So, like, seriously, who, who uh, are you talking any, about? Is it, is it anybody that I know? Probably not. Probably not. And it's someone I didn't even know. They were brought to my attention oh. from somebody else. Gotcha. Hmm. And then they're like, oh, you should get him. I think he's on the come up. And I listened to his show. I was like, yeah, he's good. So I hit him up. And then shit just got fucking weird. And I was like, okay. I was like, dude, it's not worth the headache. Yeah. You know what I mean? My favorites are when, like, I've had people hit me up. I was like, hey, will you react to my video? Uh, I'll only charge $100. Like, they were going to charge me $100 to react to their video. Yeah, I've had that happen multiple times. And, like, I have people message me. It's like, hey, uh, can we do a feature? I don't charge money. It's like, what? And it's like people that have, like, zero followers on shit. Well... I mean, some people trying to make this a living. I kind of get that. I could see myself making that mistake like years ago. Yeah. When, yeah. Like, all right, I need it. Like, this is the only way I'm gonna like eat dinner tonight is by making music. First of all, you shouldn't do that if you're not eating already off music. You should just keep your job and stay up all damn night and work on your craft. Facts. <laughs> I remember you. when uh, but, when shit first popped off for me. <clears throat> I still worked a job, so. Um, yeah, People me and Crip were talking behind your back off. about that. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Love to see it, bro. I expect nothing less. You behind my back, Crip doing the same thing with a mouthful of warm donuts. I'm going to eat the donuts and stab you in the um, back with the fork. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so my shit popped off, but I was so weary about, um, you know, making that jump at first because I didn't know how... I wanted to see how real it was. Is it a fucking uh, a spike and then a mm-hmm. decline and boom, I'm back at square one and now, holy shit, I'm fucked. I lost my job. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I fucking, shit popped off in March and then I dead at, I worked until November yeah. just so I could stack up. So from March to November, Smart. I didn't touch a cent of the music money I made. But that helped me so much in the long run because then once I did quit my job, I had, you know, a big cushion to fall back on. Per se, I was like, oh, how much are my bills a month? 
And I was like, okay, so if they're that much, I could survive off this for, if I make zero dollars off music for, until further notice, I could survive off this for two years, even if I make zero dollars. And I know I'm not going to make zero dollars. So that was like the deciding factor for me. I was like, fuck this. I was like, if I did this work in 50 hours a week, what can I do with 50 hours more towards music? You know? Yeah. I think that was definitely the right move. Yeah, Vin told me he would uh, stop Go his ahead, day job Chris. once he saved seven million dollars. So congrats on being a millionaire, <laughs> Vin J. I I thought you said it was eight million, Vin J. Yeah, stop charging me for features, please. You, you have enough money. Yeah. I, I'm tired of paying you Hold for on, features. Let me, Crypt, let me, I will listen. Crypt, all you gotta do is pay me a hundred dollars, and you can react to my fucking song. Just stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that was the right move. I mean, for me, um, I quit my job. I had a desk job. Like before, before. Uh, oh yeah, I remember that. Kind of popped off for me. Yeah, it was a yeah. uh, you know it was a nice little job. You know, I was helping students at a college with disabilities. So you know that's a very Joey Nato type thing. Uh, yeah, because I'm a little soft. Probably but. feeding them vegan omelets. They probably hate you. <laughs> 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 Who fed this guy? <laughs> Nato. <laughs> The same, yeah. such a story. Uh, for Who me, fed this guy? Nato. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I know. Uh, for he me, said he quit it his was, job. He got fired uh, for feeding them vegan omelets. Yeah, <laughs> he probably had his mixtape in the middle of them too. <laughs> it was uh, the mixtape. Yo, I gotta show you a skit one that's day. Sweet. That's on my channel. It's called How to Promote Your Music. It's a skit we did like years ago, mm-hmm. and we do like fourteen funny things or ways on how to promote your music. <laughs> and one of them was like. I was sitting with my friend at Burger King, and he, like, bit into his cheeseburger, and then it cuts, and then we did a camera cut, and then you see the CD, like, right in the smack in the middle of the cheeseburger with, like, all the oh sauce on it. He was like, I was like, yo, check out my mixtape, yo. He was like, yo, we've been friends for, like, 10 years. Like, yo, I got to show you that. I got to react that's to, like, my weird. old video. We should yeah, all funny. react to our Fact. old video. It's yo, not Vinjay, you guys, not a YouTuber. Do you guys have music that's old as shit? Nato, I know you do. I just saw you post something on... Twitter or some shit like that. And yeah. It was like from 2011 or something like that. Yeah. It traces back to so, 2007 for me. Yeah. That's, it's, it's crazy shit. Do you ever listen to your old shit and you know it's not on Spotify? You know it's not making you any money or anything like that. And you're like, how bad is this? You're like, can I post this or can I show the fans this? Will they think it's like cool to see my old shit? Or is it that fucking bad that they should not even see the light of day? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For me, <laughs> it's... Uh, I don't know, man. There's a lot of bad music out there. Uh, so maybe nice. it's straight. For me, it's just more the message that I was putting out at the time that I don't mm. really want to associate with my brand. Um, yeah. So it's more of a decision along those lines. But it's interesting that you bring that up because I know that you, like I, when you started blowing up off the uh, uh, mumble rapper versus lyrical rapper, and then there was the... Uh, then you were on the cipher. I was like, okay, I'm gonna somewhat be working with this dude. I was like, let me look up uh, what his like come up was and stuff. That's usually what I do. Um, I like go to somebody's page and look at their old stuff. And I saw something you did like two or three years ago where you were walking down the street in New York rapping. Yeah. And I was like, yo, this is not that great. Like this is very, <laughs> yeah. very different from what yeah. Vinjay's level is now. I was like, that level up was crazy. Like you tightened Bro. up. I like, did a video. After- I did a video where I reacted to like several of my friends' first music mm-hmm. video yeah. versus their most recent, and like I reacted to one from Vinjay for like ten years ago. Yeah, dude, you were. I saw it. Dude, we I was in the building. Watching you yeah, die. up in yeah, the yard, right. the building. <laughs> <laughs> you went with the raspy tone. Back no, then? that was just that was was me making not, fun of It him. was just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, dude. It's like he's not even win. giving it the corny. It d- it d- <laughs> I need to see it. It's not even. Wor- he's not even giving it like the cornery it deserves, bro. It's so bad. I don't even know why it's still. Dude, you had like an eyebrow YouTube. piercing, you, didn't is- you? Yeah, dude. Yeah, oh a, man. I, fucking, uh, I thought I was rebellious, man. Oh man. <laughs> it was so. It was funny. I have a video on my channel about it. It's fucking great. Yeah, it's so incredible. It's, that was the one I kept just for shits and gigs, like, cause I don't know. It's I think it's like for us, it's funny because we're artists. Yeah. I think for anyone who's where I was at that time, it's inspirational. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's kind of why I keep mine up, so people. Yeah, can see I that keep all old. my videos up. I reacted to my first song too, and it's a fucking Call of Duty song I recorded with a Guitar Hero microphone. Like it was love it horrible, horrible, horrible. 
So I, you yo speaking of which, yo, at least when I visited you, um, you know, at your house. You still have old ass songs on your channel, like it was like funny songs of you like in your room, fucking. Uh, yeah, dude. I, what was it? It was like the, you were your Luigi or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, that was in college, dude. I keep everything up because like I, I'm inspired from where I came from too. Like I know a lot of people delete their videos when they're really bad. I keep it all up just so I can see how much I've progressed and go look back and be like, damn. I want other people to see how yeah. much I've progressed too. So like when they say that I suck now, I'm like, wait a minute. Go back and yeah. look. <laughs> you want to see suck. You want to see suck. <laughs> you go back and look at this shit. It's, it's there. Do you guys ever That's have those I, nights where you like stay up till five in the morning just listening to your all your old stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I still you listen to all my trip? current stuff. It's a too, trip, man. I'm a narcissist. But uh. <laughs> I mean, at least at least you listen to your current stuff. You know. What yeah, I, mean? I actually have an edited <laughs> version of our album where all of your verses are gone, and it's just me. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good clap back. I'll give you that. That was dope. Um, yeah, Ben J, you were about to say something, and it was probably something better than what me and Crypto was gonna say. So what were we gonna? Oh, say? without everything I've said is better than what you guys have said. So yeah, far. that's true. Um, yeah. so, <laughs> so, so I'm with Crypt on the fact that like, um, it's really dope to look back at your old shit and see where you came from. It kind of levels you and is like. When you get in a doubt, you know, doubting mind space of of yourself, it's kind of like, what the fuck are you doubting yourself? Look how far you came, you know? Yeah. Um, but now here's the difference between me and Crypt. It's not a good thing nor a bad thing, but Crypt is open enough to keep that shit up for the public. I have that shit on private, and I will look at it when I'm feeling down. These motherfuckers, <laughs> uh, if they see that, <laughs> they'll be like, why am I listening to this yeah. fucking loser? I, it's like, I it's it. like, I can't explain. It's, it's like cringeworthy, man. It's not that... Is that bad musically or whatever? But it's just like I did not. Um, I wasn't really about rap, I guess per se. I was like kind of feeling it out, like I wanted to try it as a hobby. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So then when you look back at it, no one's gonna fucking look at that and be inspired. They're gonna be like, I can't finish this fucking video. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that bad. Yeah, dude. I I have but so it's inspiring, many crazy. Yo, it's inspiring. I have so many cringy videos on my channel, like so many can't even count how many cringy videos i have on my channels and like i guess it's from where, where i'm so open about it that i don't give a shit it's kind of like me making fun of myself before yeah. other people can make fun of me i guess but exactly. yeah i, I really a don't lot care of creative ideas though you had a <laughs> lot of creative ideas out there like you were really taking like the youtube route of like what's the most creative thing i could come up with yeah like costume was... design all this <laughs> stuff like i think I that's important Right yeah. now, like those could probably still really get views, but right now, brand wise and image wise, yeah. that might be taking a step backwards. Dude, I had some um, cool shit that I did back yeah. in the day. That that's when the like my spelling originated, like where I spell on tracks now, like I did with my poppin' remix. Um, ah, yeah. Like I, I remember I did a diss track. The I got, his name was Mario, and it was during the Call of Duty scene. His his name was Mario, and that's the thing I showed you, Vin J, where I was wearing a Luigi costume. Yep. Just because yep. Luigi and Mario and now like bust in the room as they're doing it. <laughs> yeah, my fucking, Dude, fucking my roommate dying. busted in the room and started laughing at me during the middle of the music video. <laughs> You're like holding the door <laughs> closed, bro. Dude, shit was so his homie's trying to come in the room just to like just fucking come in and grip some full Luigi suit, like holding the door shut, like barricaded, like don't come in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I just let him. I just let it happen. Oh, that That's shit hilarious. was amazing. I I do want to ask because Vinjay just leaked. Uh, a feature off his album, and I was really curious about what features you're gonna have on this album. I don't know mm -hmm. if you're gonna be a bougie like Chris Brown and be like, "Man, you're just gonna have to wait and see." Or you <laughs> no, gonna no, be no. Like <laughs> I'm an open book, man. I'll tell you. All right, let's hear it. Um, so as not you guys know, it's <laughs> well. Listen here, <laughs> it's sixty forty released unreleased. So unfortunately, your bitch ass is on the album. You put out of my, my mind, mind on there. Oh, oh yeah. man! Do, 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 I get do, zero royalties do, do. from that because I did it for free. So, <laughs> it's the same with Devil Went Down to Hip Hop. Suck a dick. I don't this get royalties from that. This is a Papa Do exclusive. <laughs> how do you how do you not get royalties from Devil Went Down to Hip Hop? I actually do, but it did get copyright claimed on YouTube, and they uh, they rejected it. Yeah, better than getting copyrighted on Spotify. Mm. Yeah, that's probably gonna happen. But, anyways, who's your features? You. Okay, yeah, we were just about to go down a rabbit hole. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> Mike, I just want to I warn didn't... you guys: my camera is starting to overheat, so I'm gonna record as long as I can video-wise. I'll keep the pot my audio going for a little bit though. 
Uh, okay, but okay. I, I think we'll be okay. So it would be an improvement to not see you anyway. So that's honestly perfect. Wow, what a fucking cock! What a jerk! Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> what a jerk! Anyway, I you know what? I came here to have a good time, and I'm feeling personally attacked. All right. Uh, my bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm not apologizing I'm for shit. Ha- You're small. There good. You go. You're little. Ha- I'm fuck. I'm tweeting after I get off this, and I'm just putting your names and then writing hashtag me too. Listen, you okay. can't do that if you wear. <laughs> If you wear an adult small shirt, okay. Listen, it's actually a kid's small, so suck a dick. You can get your facts straight, all right? Cut okay. this man's audio. You're off the podcast. <laughs> no more guests ever. You ruined it for everybody. <laughs> fuck Ben J. Hashtag right, fuck so- Ben J. All right, so y'all want to know the features? Of yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... When I was, uh, you know, 50% done with the album... I like, there's so many artists I want to get on the track. Me and Chase were talking about it when I was on his live the other day. Um, but it, it comes to a point that when you're, you know, us three especially, we're tight with a lot of artists, you know? Mm-hmm. And you want everyone that you fuck with to be on the album, this and the third. But I also didn't want my album to be chock full of features, like, insane amounts. Because then it looks like I can't carry myself. Which you can't. As an artist <laughs> or on a song, you know? No, no. <laughs> it's like, it's like... <laughs> If I have a feature on eight out of ten songs, it looks like I'm not, I can't fucking uh, create. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I Without get that. help. Yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> so features kind of like fell in my lap in the sense of like I heard the the song that I made and I knew exactly who needed to be on it. You know what I mean? And then after those one, two, three things uh, songs happen with <clears throat> certain artists, it was like, well, fuck, how many features are we gonna have on this album? Because now it's going to be 80% features, and mm. that's not what you know fans want to hear in album sense, you know? Right. But with that being said, I'm going to have to think right now. Um, you have to we think got... who's on the album? <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm fucking in the <laughs> midst of all this shit. Like, it's like some are mixed, some are not. I'm, I'm pulled in five different directions right now. Okay. But it's um, Cryptic Wisdom is definitely on it. I just spoke to him this morning. He, he finished up his shit. Um, Futuristics on it, not with our older song, with a new one. Mm. Oh, that's um, <clears throat> Dizzy writes on it. Oh, Dizzy writes on it. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. That's a Ooh. nice one. He tried to yeah, sneak I that was... one in too. He's like futuristic. Yeah, he's just like going. Right. <laughs> Dizzy Wright. Uh, I was... <laughs> <laughs> no, I was I, real shit. I was very excited about having Dizzy Wright on it because I've been a fan of you know uh, Funk Volume and, mm-hmm. and that whole squad for a while, man. I've been listening to all of them since as long as both of you guys have. Right. Yeah. Um, so that was very exciting for me. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that might be it on on the unreleased shit because mm-hmm. I didn't want too many features. So three out of, let's say, nine or ten mm-hmm. are features on the unreleased. Mm-hmm. And then um, uh, features on the release shit is uh, the one I just dropped with Gone and Binks. Yep. Uh, Can't Be Saved. Uh, Crypt is also on it for Out of My Mind. Mm-hmm. And that may be it. I have a, okay. a rough draft of the track That's a list lot. in my head. That's but, a lot of features. Yeah. But it's also like right now, we haven't made the track list yet, so we have like 20 songs that need to be chopped down oh, into shit. a smaller album. Yeah. Sheesh. Don't, don't do uh, that again. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I've been saying sheesh for a long Lean time. Lean back in your sheesh. seat. <laughs> I've been saying sheesh. Oh, dude, for you're a long on that time. song too. I forgot about that. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're in. Uh, you guys are in. No, Dunham. I'm in. The, I'm in the. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. I actually have you Dunham. listed as a writer of the song. I have you, your girlfriend, and Joey listed as uh, writers of Dunham. That's so funny. In the credits. No. We act in ignorant. Hey. hey. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we all screamed it really loud. Ben J wanted to do seven takes because he's a damn perfectionist, even though you could yeah, barely hear him. Yeah, he just fucking needed to say A. Like, he could have said it any way possible. It's like, hold I'm on, man, hold on, man. Let me. Guy, I dude. didn't feel that. I wasn't feeling it. Let me get another take in. Just fucking wasting time. I'm more of a consonant guy. Vowels is where is my uh, is definitely my weak yeah. point. I'm not proud of it, but it is what it is. Honestly, maybe if you only did one take, we could have got to the restaurant a little quicker, and I would have had bubbles in my Coke. <laughs> or your you'd steak would have been server. more raw. You'd have had they would have had another. They would have had an extra forty-five seconds to cook my steak. That's facts. <laughs> I swear they just didn't like you. That's the deal with most people. Yeah, it's the beard. <laughs> Yo, it's got to be the beard. It's probably the people beard. People don't like the beard. My beard's popping, bro. Just go fuck yourself. 
Speaking of popping, yeah. you, see, I was just hey, you see what I, 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 like I gave it to him for the same way. Uh, Bam! That was not that was not an accident. That was not an accident, yo. I know Crip. He want he was waiting. Yeah, he I was, was waiting trying. for his moment. I heard you say it. Can we stop talking about Vin Jay? Seven minutes ago. <laughs> can we stop talking about this guy, Vin Jay? God, I won the popping <laughs> challenge. Isn't anybody happy for me? Yeah, yeah congrats. congratulations, was Thank bro. You guys. That shit is that's big. And you honestly, you won by a motherfucking landslide. Yeah, dude, that was, that was fucking. Cra- I saw that, was that picture. I was like, God damn! I had a feeling you were gonna win, but dude, though those numbers, it was the shocking yeah. shit. Like you're that shit was a- out of control. Exactly. You know what stuck and out to me is King Batch had like some of the least amount of votes. Yeah, dude, so he was like this- second to last or third to last, something like that. That makes me think that people were really like tapped into skill and wasn't really like thinking about yeah. Uh, yeah. clout and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. it gives yeah, me. Yeah, I mean, Joey can tell you. We talked about it on an earlier podcast where I told him I was like, King Batch is gonna win. I mean, he's got almost 20 million followers on Instagram. He's got four or five million on YouTube on one channel. He's got a million on another channel. Like I was like, there's no way. It's like it's awesome that I'm in this competition, but like there's no way I can win this. And then you know what you you might have a more diehard fan base though your fan base fucks with you in a crazy crazy yeah dude uh, it's ar- wild army type way yeah absolutely and sometimes I don't even realize that until I see shit like this happen because I remember like whenever I found out that I was in the top thirteen and like the voting was out I made sure to tell everybody only vote for me if you think I win. Like, I understand if you like me and all that other stuff, but, like, please, I want this to be a fair competition. I don't want my fan base to be taken into account for this. I want to make sure that if I win, I win based off of skill. And, like, I voted for Dizzy 8. That's the more bizarre part. Yeah. I made sure that you won by that much. Yeah, because I easily could have spanned this. Like, even with saying that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, But you guys also entered the popping challenge as well. Yeah, we don't talk about my verse. Vin J, who do you think won the uh, <laughs> popping challenge? Like, if I mean besides Crip, like who? Or this is how I should say it: Who do you think had the your favorite verse? Who had your favorite verse in the popping challenge? I don't know how many you listened to, but besides Crip, yeah, uh, Dizzy, yeah. Dizzy, yeah, Dizzy. I think if Dizzy, he had uh, Dizzy, more support, I think Dizzy's uh, criminally underrated. Yeah, I, I agreed. think it's I I I don't like seeing people have to work. You know, real jobs that they don't like when they're that talented. You know what I'm saying? I get that. Um, so I definitely have to say Dizzy for sure. Yeah, Dizzy I definitely the, needs another break. Mm-hmm. I think what's going to make Dizzy really pop off a little bit more is yeah. either – this is the reality to me. I think he either has to start beefing with someone <laughs> or, like, do a rap <laughs> diss. Because diss tracks is, like, like how shit. you, like, rise up. In YouTube okay, we're gonna stop you listening to Joey. He's no. giving horrible advice right listen, now. No, I'm dead I, serious. I do not, listen, dude, listen. I am not a fan listen. of that. At it is a all. horrible, like horrible rap. route. Don't listen I to Joey. I love the scene of I'm not saying it's rap. a good route. I, I do not <laughs> like that shit, bro. I'm, yo, I do not I, like. That. Listen, you got you went crazy viral, which is very, very, very rare on YouTube. Mm. Very rare on YouTube to go crazy viral with just a strictly like a rap song like that. And Dizzy Gate, all he does right now is just make songs. If he doesn't take another route, and the other route that I was going to say before you guys cut off my mic, I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now. <laughs> so, so anyway, Crib, what were you saying before? What I was before, saying. I got some donuts in the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> is you have to dress up like Luigi and dance around when the roommate's not home and make some creative content. No, seriously, oh, you got to make like, weird. if you're on YouTube, you have to make like YouTube videos. You know what yeah. I mean? You have to do something that's still related to rap, but you got to kind of go around a little bit. If you I don't, disagree it's hard. a little bit. I think a very overlooked um as uh, way of coming up is uh remixes, bro. That's That is a good that, one. Uh well well-timed remixes. If you have six if you like no there's several ways to come up man go viral that's one obviously um uh drop a song a week for two years like russ fucking all those fucking little things uh collabs there's a million ways to come up um and now let's talk if you know all these routes remixes is the final one if you know all these routes and you're like you decide remixes is gonna be your come up then you wouldn't even drop songs you would have 16s Locked and loaded for different tempos on deck. You'd have fucking 10 of your hardest 16s locked and loaded for different tempos. So when Eminem drops a new song or fucking uh, fucking DaBaby drops a new song, you drop a remix day of the next day 
and you're growing your fan base exponentially because you're the you're the video under the actual song. So it's 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 just how dedicated to your lane are you and how well do you understand the different lanes that you could take, you know? Yeah. Uh, check your camera, boys. Mine just overheated, but I know it was right at 28 minutes. All right. I'm going to walk two feet. It's going to take me 20 minutes. I'll be right back. Ooh! You know what you guys should do? Not to me, but from here on out. If you have an artist on, you should ask them if they could drop a little something, like a little 16, freestyle written, something like that. I mean, uh, I guess I'd be with that. That'd be cool. <laughs> I'm just, it's a fucking suggestion, dude. Relax. <laughs> 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 fucking dude. I don't know. Try. I don't know uh, if I could Try not to hurt my comment. feelings. Uh, I guess so. I mean, definitely try that out. I'll, uh, I'll check it out. Hey, you crazy cats and dogs out there. <laughs> Uh, Cat, <laughs> kittens and critters or what is it? Back is that what to it is? Jazz four or five. I thought it was cats and dogs. I got that from Hey Arnold. But. Oh, I thought you were oh, talking about yeah. I thought what you were talking about Tiger show. King and Carol Baskin. No. Have you guys seen that? I haven't watched that yet. My Dude, it's fucking watching. crazy. You guys talk about Tiger it's King? The craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. I feel I've like seen I've seen it through the memes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I watch it, I'm gonna just like <laughs> I've seen it all. Dude, you know it's what I'm saying? It's one of those things like you watch the first episode, it's like, hey, this is actually somewhat interesting. And then the second episode is like, what the fuck? And then the third episode is like, he's gay? And like, it's just crazy. <laughs> is that, did you just yeah. give away a big twist? I did. He has two husbands. <laughs> See, yo, can wow. you guys hear me okay? Do I sound far away or anything like that? You sound like a little, you sound way in the back compared to me and Crip. Like oh, wonderful. Sound. Thanks for telling me an hour in. No, but we can hear you. So I it's just, all good. I just don't want the sound quality to be fucking shitty, man. Well, we're using the sound quality from your mic. <laughs> Yeah, you might, you're gonna have to boost the vocals though to make them, you know. You're recording into your mic, right? Yeah, I'm I'm a solid fucking uh, nine inches you're, away from the shit though. Your Telefunken or whatever five million dollar mic you got. <laughs> I don't, you guys think I'm balling? I'm you should see where I'm sitting right now. <laughs> you're sitting on your seven million dollars as a chair. No, yeah, it's just <laughs> butt ass naked. <laughs> He's butt ass naked. <laughs> Has some donuts in the microwave, just eating. You guys are shot. Reese's. <laughs> wow. Okay, I wish you guys... I should have asked you guys the beginning of this shit if you heard me okay. Yeah. Nah, we, we're, it's I've, cool. I've heard you fine. It's audible. Yeah. Uh, uh, hopefully you could just, you know, pop some gain on my vocals and it'll be Gucci. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, Is there anything else that we should definitely, like, talk about? Speaking of hearing me okay, how was the show in New York, guys? I yo okay. I thought it sounded fine. I uh, not oh after the show and whoever I don't remember who else we were talking to because I was faded. But Very. you guys were saying um, it, he was hard to hear. I I didn't have that problem, but I was also drunk. Uh, so. the first two songs, yeah. And that's there was like yeah, the first two kind songs of audio issues. Yeah, the first two songs, my producer mixed it really bad and sent it to me for my shows. So just blame yeah, it on that. I've I've heard I've heard he's unreliable. <laughs> Very extremely <laughs> no, unreliable. No, no, don't put it, my rep out there like that, okay? These are two <laughs> different songs that are like some of your older songs. Who fucked up the Horsemen. volume? Not a- that <laughs> <laughs> no, that They were from two different sources, okay? Everything that I mixed and everything like that, everything that I was responsible for sounded wonderful and great and had the crowd jumping up and down and yeah. girls... I started a mosh pit and I'm super proud of that. Dude, that was I fucking dope. Like I, I wanted to just like show I, my boner on stage when that happened. <laughs> that I was had cool. to turn up for that one, bro. I know the feeling that you get when you uh, you get yeah. that mosh pit going at a live show. It's fucking amps your energy up, you know. Yeah, and the yeah. thing is nah, like that was dope. Yeah, it made me like want to bring my friends to every show just because of that specific reason. Because it's, I mean, Futuristic's really good at doing that, like getting the crowd to like do a mosh pit. He gets out in the crowd and like shoves people and like fights them. I thought about doing that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I've done that as well. It's fun. Yeah, it was a fun time. Speaking of you doing shows and me doing shows, ah, uh, uh oh, ah, I don't know if it's gonna happen anymore because the want, the c word. I know, but no, nothing's happening, bro. It's fucking shot. Yeah, man. But Vin J and I are supposed to go on tour together in November, but it's we've everything's been on halt because of all this stuff going on and we like we don't want to book anything because of the venues and shit like that but it's definitely a huge possibility that we will do some shows here's a question how far out do you have to book that shit because i think by november shit's (laughs) gonna be opened up 
Oof. Okay. See it. Never yeah. mind. Yeah. So it's Damn. he hit me up the other I day, and I was just like, I, man, I want to, but it's it's such a risky thing. I hope that goes through. I hope all this. I hope everything just gets postponed. I don't want anything getting canceled. I don't want the NBA yeah. season getting canceled. I just want everything postponed. You know what I yeah. mean? Dude, I haven't so, had baseball, yeah. and like, I'm just I'm losing hair by not seeing baseball in April. I just want to fucking kill. Crit. Someone. You got to give me your gamer tag, bro. I've been doing nothing, but I like. I've got this very strict, um, super smart schedule of like, uh, make music one day, play video games the next day, and drink the next day. That's it's not it's all about balance. I think <laughs> no, no, it's, that quote was actually from Gandhi. So we're good. So, <laughs> what, so <laughs> it's all about balance, you know. Yeah. So anyway, on my every third day of my little. Uh, triathlon thing i got going on i need <laughs> some people to game with all right and okay. if you have modern warfare i would have to re-download it i have it i bought it okay i would never play you modern you used to Chris. be a big gamer no yeah i was in a professional call of duty team the chair I that i'm play. in right now was the chair that they sent me for being in that team all right flex harder please just for the fact <laughs> 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 Okay, I just. <laughs> Crip would make. Yo, I am so terrible at Call of Duty. Like, it's not even. Like, I am laughable. So, I, how how good are you, Vinjay? Like, how many. Like, do you play Warzone or do you play, like, Team Deathmatch on, like. Well, I play Warzone. Um, and then I also play multiplayer search and destroy and all that shit. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm very good, but I'm very inconsistent. I'll, I'll get fucking like crazy rest. amounts of kills. A <laughs> good. <laughs> I'll get crazy amounts of kills, <laughs> and I'm just gonna move on because you're <laughs> dumb as hell. <laughs> no, I've I've been very vocal about it. Vin J is one of my favorite <laughs> so I'll give you props when props are due. I've I've yet to hear a bad song from you, except for "We in the Building." Yeah, <laughs> except for that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. After this, you guys need to check Instagram after this because Luigi rap, whatever the fuck it's called, is going on my Instagram. <laughs> Ben J is about to go viral loop, again. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth, loop the part where your roommate's trying to get in, and you're in the Luigi suit. <laughs> I need to watch it. Oh, that part is Thank in the you. video where he's trying to yeah, get in. Yeah, it's in the video. Shit. I yeah, left it in yeah. there. I intentionally oh, that's left it in there. Gold. Shout that out to gold. Nolan. My dog's in the room, like chasing me around and stuff. Like, it's a fun time. How has the quarantine affected your busy ass schedule? Because I know you do got a busy schedule. Uh, it has not affected me whatsoever. I just can't go get steaks. <laughs> really so, so in, in all reality it's affected my heart and like makes me want to cry every morning that i wake up knowing that i can't go get a mm. steak but mm. dude i tried to fix a steak the other day i wanted to pan sear it and i put it in a iron skillet and this video i watched said to put some vegetable oil in it to help it sear and i put it in there and like it started sizzling and then just started smoking like crazy like white smoke everywhere and i was like what the oh, fuck's no. going on and then it caught it on really fire smoke Oh, okay. No, it, it was smoke. smoke. <laughs> yeah. It was like, the yeah. fucking heat. <laughs> and then it caught on fire. <laughs> like, and I was like, what the fuck? And I just like looked at it. And I was like, God. this is a grease fire. I can't put water on it. It'll fucking burn me alive. So I like grabbed it. Yo, do you. And go ahead. Go ahead. I bad. grabbed it my and I, my cousin was with me and I took it outside on our deck and like burned a hole in the deck. There's like a nice little sear of an iron skillet out there on the deck and I poured milk on it. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> It's safe to say That's I did not have a pan seared steak that night. My guy misses steak. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I try to be decker, fancy with it. Triple decker milky steak with a fork. <laughs> that sounds nice. In the right microwave. Now. That's rough. How come we keep <laughs> coming back to steak? What is happening? It's so good. I'm so I, fucking so... <laughs> deprived. I need one. Don't you guys eat my penne on vodka? Like my I tits. think Crypt is just my Crypt is just trying to like subconsciously bring us back. He's saying these little things we're not catching that bring us back to steak, and then he fucking his mouth salivates. Listen, when we there's get a lot. To it. There's a lot with YouTube. There's a lot at stake. Yeah, that, yeah here we go. Speaking oh of steak, a steak. <laughs> dude, my tits are growing phenomenally right now because I don't have any <laughs> testosterone from the steaks. I'm turning into uh, a woman. Oh my god! It probably wouldn't be the worst thing. You could maybe be become a little more sensitive. That'd be nice. You can get an OnlyFans account. That'd yes, be great. that Only is. Fans. Say what you want about my tits, but my OnlyFans fans account only paid only for fans. my mansion at 25. All right, <laughs> love to see it. Crip, what is the? I love to see it. Crip, what is the best uh, <laughs> Call of Duty advice you can give to struggling gamers like me? Uh, get, I played like, it differently, kills. so like, 
I I mean I could play competitively like I I could drop I could go only thirty and three in a game if I wanted to, but that was just boring to me. So I like to quick scope. Oh my god! I like to. Shut up. I like to trick shut shot. Up. I like to so just geez. piss off people oh. like Vinjay. Yeah, I was. I would go thirty oh and three quick scoping. Like I was, making nasty with it. You can see it on my channel. Like I was dirty. Yeah. And that was funny. I like. I and liked. I, I liked rapping. I liked rapping, and then I realized it was way too easy. And I was so much better than everyone else. So I recorded with my back to the mic, blindfolded, with fuck. I was bench pressing <laughs> at the same time. And then honestly, that just seemed like a better fit for me. Boy, if you don't shut the fuck up, <laughs> what you goddamn <laughs> hey, Call of Duty? Fuck flexing? you. Fuck you, Vin. Oh, like, I, I can't even think of an God. insult right now because I'm so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> That's Michael dick. Jordan right there. That's what Michael Jordan said. He said, yo, I got too tired of being good at basketball. So I tried, so I out tried baseball. baseball. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. It just wasn't now, fun. I, I, like, could, I could see you being like MLG status. I feel that. Yeah, like it just, I wasn't, I mean, I, I don't know. We had an MLG team that was way better than I was, but like I could consistently go, you know, 30 and 3, 30 and 5, so just like pretty easily. I just That's didn't crazy. have a lot of fun doing that. So I, I had I'm, way more fun. What game mode did you play the most? Uh, free for all. Cause that's what where game mode did you play the most? I just said it. I literally just said it. I cut off. It was not listening to you. Well, <laughs> nah, cut off. Get the dicks out of your ear. Uh, it was free for all. <laughs> okay. Free that's for all. So do you do you understand what worse? I'm saying? Yeah. First of all, Dude, get the dicks out of your ear is easily the weirdest <laughs> insult I've ever heard. Okay. <laughs> I've met a few gay people in my time, and none of them like cocks in their fucking ear. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so that's a clearly weird you've insult. met the it's wrong even... ones. <laughs> I've, I've... <laughs> it's it's a fucking weird thing to say. Yeah, this whole conversation is pretty weird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, podcasts are fun just for the fact that none of it, there's no um boundaries or limits, man. Yeah, so it's just it's not. nonsense. It's nonsense. Do you guys want to talk at all about the screw and Luke gone, or do you want to wrap up the podcast? Be, keep oh, it we a can. Buck. I mean, we can talk about it. Uh, like, this I, it's gonna be, be weird on my end because like I've I'm switching back and forth <clears throat> between my camera that overheated in my phone. Mm -hmm. I, I'm dead. I'll be straight. I'm good without talking about it. Okay. okay. We don't gotta talk about it. Yeah, we can talk about it uh, a different time, Joe. Uh, if we don't talk about it now, we probably won't talk about it unless somebody like ends up like. Like, ah. like, throwing a sandwich at somebody. I just don't have an input on it. Not that I don't have an input on it, bro. I'm not. I'm not involved. I fucking. I hate the, uh, the host the hostility, and I feel like it's, it's right? ill placed. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's it's, super it's unnecessary. unnecessary. Uh, and I just. It's not my vibe. I know I'm like aggressive when I rap and shit, but I think that shit is unnecessary. Yeah, and, you're uh, aggressive when you rap, but you're a bitch in person. Oh, exactly, 100%. Like, I'm going to church after this, so I hope everyone um, <laughs> could just understand why I'm not trying to get hyped up before church. That's My God. I just can't relate to that. I can't relate to that mindset. Yeah, I mean, I can because that's yes. how I was oh. when I first came up. Like, when I was doing the Call of Duty, in the Call of Duty scene, when I first started rapping, I was doing diss tracks on bigger people in the Call of Duty scene just to cause shit. A lot like, of yeah. diss tracks. Yeah. So you have a whole playlist. I did a lot. I have a whole tracks. playlist. Yeah, I still have it there just to go back and look. But like yeah. I haven't done it. I mean, it works. I'm just it's it's a fucking it's uneasy a way of fucking of living, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody looks yeah. bad. Like why? Like yo, why doesn't? Why let's just all fucking? You know how much more money we would make if we all just collectively did our fucking thing? Think about okay. Think about all the rappers that we're uh, tight with or know or have connection with, whatever you want to call it. If and then, and then combine our fan bases, yeah. that platform alone is motherfucking gigantic. So. Yeah. It's just, in my eyes, it's the wrong way to fucking, um, not the best way that we could be making money collectively. I think we could all, if we really were about it and want to make a living off this shit, then fucking, we got a huge fan base collectively, so let's get it popping. Yeah. But it's, I don't know, the hostility way is just not my vibe. Yeah, yeah and that's part of why. Like, unless it's some real personal shit. Unless it's some yeah, personal shit. Yeah, unless it's personal shit. shit. That is the only time I think it's acceptable, and like... And I agree. Unless it's some super personal stuff to where it's just that's the last resort. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's like shit has to be said at that point, even just to get it off your chest, not so much for clout, you know? Like Logan Paul and Antonio Brown like shoved each other on stage. Like, okay, we saw like these people legit don't like each other and almost yeah. got physical. Yeah. If they do a diss track, that makes sense. Like, mm -hmm. but this is just like I don't know, bro. 
I'm not saying that's the hardest rap beef of all time is Antonio Brown and Logan Paul. <laughs> As, I don't know why you picked that one, but I, that, that's just the most recent. It's just it's the like, most if you guys recent. want to talk about real beef, <laughs> Logan Paul and Antonio that Brown. That shit is so fucking spicy. <laughs> Speaking of beef, I want a fucking steak. God damn. All right, let's let's find something to wrap the podcast up with. Yeah, facts. I'm on my last beer. That's a good. That's a good finish to the podcast. Six beers deep at four thirty. Are you guys' cameras okay? Yeah. Uh, that's a good glass? question. What time are we at right now? Uh, man, it's gotta be like an hour and a half. About. All right, let me check mine because I don't know shit about cameras. So I literally caught this yesterday. Asked the guy at Best Buy. I don't know if you guys could. I didn't hear even know either. Best Buy was open. What's up with that? Oh no! Yes. So that's actually what happened. So hold up. What I'm happened so is good. you I'm just like fucking lied straight minutes. to our face. Listen. Just talk to the guy at Best Buy. Wasn't Best Buy closed? Oh yeah. <laughs> so listen. So the initial plan. Talk to plan the magical wizard your... of Camerland. <laughs> so this is what happened. Crip, Crip calls me and goes, "Hey, um, you know, uh, we're trying to get you on the podcast. Is that cool? Yeah, of course, man. That's definitely cool. Okay, cool. Uh, can you drop a thousand dollars on a camera just, you know, by tomorrow, and then everything will be straight. <laughs> we'll be very excited to have you." I was like, "Of course, dude. I was waiting for you to ask." So, so I, I go to Best Buy. I about to go to Best Buy. I call them. They're closed because of all the bullshit. Okay, good. Um, so I was like, closed. "Okay, my options by me are Walmart and Target." I go to Walmart and they got digital cameras for a 14-year-old girl <laughs> who's just uh, started her MySpace page. So, and I was like, "I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing that shit." So then I'm like, all right, Target's our last bet. And I go there, and they have a broader selection, but still, it's like higher-end cameras, but still not more selections. So I cop a, a Sony A6000, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, I got that. I don't, and, I don't really like it, but yeah. yeah. Oh, perfect. Great. I'm glad I made the right purchase. So, <laughs> so I cop that. I fucking turn on the camera. It looks disgustingly, like, flat. And I'm like, perfect. I know nothing about the specs of this thing. This is great. What time is the podcast? 11 hours from now? Love it. So I fucking, like, have my girl tweak it up. It's better than it was. Yeah. And that's what we're dealing with right now. Okay. Well, that's good. We appreciate you buying your $1,000 camera, even though you have millions of dollars, just spending your chump change on a camera to be on this podcast. I don't know where this rumor came from that I have millions of dollars, but <laughs> I'm <it>. here. <laughs> I came to this podcast strictly to confirm the fact that it is 100% true. Don't fuck with me. I got bread, okay? <laughs> we out here buying million-dollar mansions. Don't fuck with me. Yeah, I, I thought I heard Floyd Medweather in the background eating Reese's. But, uh, I couldn't tell. No, that, that was just my iced-out watches and jingling. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It sounded like Floyd Mayweather's type of chewing, but it, it was hard to tell. Uh, all right, let me, uh, let me leave this to wrap this up. Vin J is the first guest of all time on the Papa Do podcast, so this is actually a pretty yes, legendary sir. moment. So thank you for jumping on this, man. I'm glad you got everything put all together. You know, we're kind of last minute with a lot of this podcast stuff because me and Crypt are still trying to Anytime, collect our man. bearings. Uh, but, yeah, I just wanted to say that. And um, this was fire. This was fun. This is probably the funniest podcast yet. Uh, yeah, it's going to be say. great, man. I'm excited to see your podcast grow, man. I'm definitely going to be watching. Now that I'm on it, it, like, gives me ten times more of a reason to just <laughs> see what you guys are doing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking playing with you, but um. We tried to be sentimental. Yeah, man. That, but you were just being a fucking asshole. But it's okay. Yeah. Oh no. It was I just sneak this, and then else. you guys. I really wouldn't. And then and then you guys took it seriously. I was like, wow, this is really weird. <laughs> yeah, now. that's now I have to like now I have like to explain this. Yeah. <laughs> Please put a clown emoji over Vinjay's face for the entire. <laughs> I will. Hold Pass on. Wait. Know. Let me let me look at the let me look at the camera like I'm in the office, so you can do that real quick. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Love that damn show. Crit. Oh, okay. Perfect. All right, we got All right. it. All right, um, thank you so much for uh, Vin J for hopping on the. Right, okay, were you saying something else? Oh, what's the nope. name of the album? Vin J? <laughs> is there a name of the oh, album? Oh yeah, what's the what's the name of the album? Did you decide? I is it insanity? Is it insanity? <laughs> Yo, Yo is it called pest <laughs> control? <laughs> is it called pest control? First, uh, first of all, I hate your dumbass for saying insanity because then every other mention I got was a pun on <laughs> yeah, my motherfucking that, name. Okay. That is the exact reason I did it. That is the exact reason I, I was did it. Like, Invincible. God. And Ben Sanity. Yep. <laughs> My great. camera's Dude, dying. Some... My camera's dying. Oh Dude, shit! Someone okay, here said we go. the mo- All right, let's check out. Let's check out. What's the album name? Youngest Prophet. Wow, how fucking original. When's the release date? Stop. Never. Because you're on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, that's perfect. That's that perfect. has been Ben J. Thank you so much for coming on the Papa Do podcast. We will definitely have you on here again at some point. Uh, yeah, that's the end of this podcast. And until next time, guys, we love you. Pop a fucking do. Uh.
You got Kill. Me. Yeah. Cut. I did some crazy dabs right there at the end, yo. Dope. I've been, I, I've raised my beer. I've been drinking beer this whole time, and I think it's gonna be fun to see the listeners watch me progressively get more tipsy throughout. Papa do.